It is. It's wonderful. It's a, not only a fun time, but also you learn a lot. My first my very first experience there, I remember, which was a Thanksgiving show, immediately there was a problem with uh, what we were having for dinner, and, and uh, we were trying to teach Theo how to carve the, the Thanksgiving turkey by practicing on a chicken. And so there was, it was originally written that once Theo destroyed the first chicken, he would go out and buy a second chicken. And immediately Bill said, that's not the sort of thing that we want to show America, that we waste food and we're the kind of family who were so decadent we'd go out. And, and the writers had taken that for granted. And that was my first day there on the set and I wow. said this man is about something else. Is you know? he in any way like your own father? Is he like everybody's father? You said in the dressing room you really respected him as a parent. Yeah. Yeah, he's everybody's father uh, to us, and in a lot of ways he reminds me of my dad. I can't think of specific similarities, but I do very much look up to him, and I respect him. You agree with his way of raising children? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Why? I said that. Because he's the type of person that... Uh, I always thought, if I had kids, you know, how do you deal with children's problems since children, especially teenagers, have so many problems today? And I think that you have to, as a parent, be able to earn your kids' respect. And Bill is the type of person that I respect him so much, and I think all of us respect him so much, that you don't, you as a child, don't want to do anything that would hurt him or in some way cause him not to respect you. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know how he's, I don't know if it's his presence or you just see this, this, the type of person that he is and the morals that he has and things that he stands for, if that's why you respect him so much. But I would want to be that kind of parent. And I mean, he's very stern and he's very loving at the same time. He's the type of person who has all of his emotions right here on his sleeve. And he's and very, very funny. Accessible. And he's very Share funny. the outtake so stories. Fun. Oh. <laughs> well, when we tape on Thursdays in Brooklyn, we have an uh, afternoon show and an evening show, and the shows have a tendency to go long because we have to do things over and over and over. So for the audience, we've provided uh, a series of, of outtakes. And our outtakes are not like the ones that you usually see where people are just flubbing lines and going blah, blah, blah like that. Uh, we plan things backstage. So just a couple of things. Bill, on occasion, has uh, come in from the office. He's a, right. he's a gynecologist, OBGYN, and he's come in, and he's had a hard day of surgery, and he's supposed to come in to see Mom and be all romantic. And one time he walked in with his uh, gown on, and he had had blood or red paint <laughs> put all over it. And of course, the audience fell apart oh. and just another time we had a very dramatic dramatic scene where a friend had come over and he said you know it was about drugs his his son was or his daughter was on drugs and he says how how did you keep it from the rest of your family you know what did you do and in the middle of the scene Bill pushes back his chair and he opens up the drawer and he takes out a gun <laughs> Yeah, so we're always, there are a lot of practical jokes. It's autobiographical for Bill. Is, yeah. Does that have anything to do with your not appearing as often as we would like? Yeah, it does. I think Bill thinks uh, of all of us as his kids, and the, the girl that I play, Erica Cosby, is off at college. And so as long as she's away, I think I'm away. I saw her at a party this year, and I said, so what are you doing this year? She said, well, I think I'm going to take a semester abroad. And I want to go, no, don't. <laughs> <laughs> because that means you're not on. That means I'm going, too. <laughs> uh, he hired you. Bill Cosby hired yes, you. Yes, he did. Talk about what that was like. Um, you had been, I've read, at least your publicity material says that you were really around since the inception of the show and yet right. not automatically hired. Right. I had auditioned for the original four children, or it was four, and they didn't know if they were going to be boys or girls or what ages they were going to be, and it turned out that I was too old at that point. But at that point, I did meet the director and the producers, and they liked me, so they asked me to go into NBC and read the screen tests against the people who were auditioning, so I did that. And then uh, when the show began, and then in August, Bill decided that he wanted to bring his eldest daughter home from college, and so they had another big audition in New York. And at that point, the producers and the casting director remembered me and asked me to come back in to read because I hadn't met Bill. So I went back in and uh, rumor from reliable sources say <laughs> that uh, the producers after my day of auditioning said, well, we'd like to show you some more girls tomorrow. And Bill said, no, I want Sabrina. He Isn't says, you could bring me every other person here in the world. He says, I want Sabrina. Let's talk about why he might have wanted Sabrina. There are a lot of kids watching us today because it's a school holiday. Mm -hmm. You have had an enormous amount of education. You mm -hmm. have prepared for acting. And this is a great way to dispel another myth. You don't just wake up one day and say, I think I want to be on television. Right. I think, well, it's important. The thing that I'm, I'm 
Still taking classes. I'm taking more classes now. Most people would go, stop it already. <laughs> I'm studying at the Strasbourg Institute in oh, New I York. Think that's great. And on the first day, they sit down and, and they show you this film. And Lee Strasberg is talking to you, and he's talking about people who have training and people who have talent. It is necessary to have talent. And sometimes I sit back and I wonder if all of my training is, is uh, my excuse for saying that I have talent. It's important to have talent, but people who have talent have to be trained. There are a lot of people who have talent and don't make it in this business. You went to UCLA and then you went to Yale right. School of Drama. I always knew that I wanted to act because I began in grammar school and then in high school I did all the plays and I did community theater and, and then I went to UCLA. I was a theater major and then after that I decided that I wasn't ready to hit Hollywood and pursue a career there, especially not being blonde and blue-eyed in Hollywood. So I decided to get some serious training and I applied for the Yale School of Drama and I got in and then it was there that I think I, I did most of my growing. I learned the most there. You know what I love about the Cosby Show? It could be any family. The color doesn't matter and yet it does dispel so many wonderful, stereo uh, terrible stereotypes that we have. You went through some stereotyping in your own life, didn't you? Your grandmother, you were telling me a story about her. She's white. Yeah, my grandmother, my family is very, very uh, racially diverse. And there's a lot of Native American. There's a part of my family which passed for white during segregation. My grandmother could ride on the front of the bus, whereas her children, since she was married to a dark Creole, uh, her children had to ride on the back of the bus. Mm. And so my family migrated to the West in order to find, you know, equal opportunity. and. And uh, hopefully the business is getting better about that. When I so first, that you won't be. Yeah, scared. when I first came to New York and I, I started auditioning for things, I found that I would go into a lot of auditions and I wasn't black enough for what they thought a black person should be. And I think now, because of our show and because of uh, people who are hitting the mainstream, even film, uh, like a Jennifer Beals or a Ray Don Chong and those, and Lisa Bonet now, mm -hmm. since she's made a, a major feature film against a white star, uh, people are beginning to say, well, maybe it's not so bad. And, and there's a new category called Black Exotic, and that's yes, got to help a lot. Black huh? Exotic yeah. or Dark Exotic. <laughs> and <a> new <laughs> category.